I'm Luciana Camargos. I am with the Brazilian delegation and I work for the GSMA. I've been working with ITU for um, 20 years now and I started in 99 as a recently graduated at the government and then I left the government to work in the industry. The network is about getting people to uh, share experiences and to help each other and that I think that's one of the main benefits that's why they should get involved when you first join here the ITU you see so many meetings you see so many different uh, groups running in parallel and all this chairman and all the protocols that are that run in the ITU it's very daunting when you're first here and I think the fact that we share information and we help each other and we help find roles for each other in different in different industries, it doesn't matter which industry you're from, which if you're government, if you're industry delegates, it's about supporting each other and not really advocating for your own causes. When I first started, I was recently graduated as a, an engineer and I got a job at the Re Brazilian regulator because basically they wanted someone to prepare for ITU meetings and they want an engineer who could speak English. I was given my first job. The job interview took two minutes. I, I worked for the Brazilian government for seven years. I can't tell you how many times they asked if I was the secretary. Lots of people refused to talk to me. They wanted to talk to a man. They wanted to talk to my boss. And I don't know if things have changed, but I think it's really important for us to make sure that it does. So it's really important for the girls and for the women who work in this industry to make their voice heard so they don't have to go through that every time. Um, in the area I worked for the Brazilian government, um, there was, because of the way it was structured, I was always uh, myself in the delegation. It was the joint task groups, there were small groups, and I, I was the sole Brazilian delegation. I can't count how many times I um, had lunch by myself in the cafeteria, had to find where things were in Geneva by myself, I didn't know any delegates, and that went on for a few years. I would really have benefited for something, for a network that could support me. So I did a presentation on the network of women in, in a meeting in Africa last year in, in Zimbabwe and it was very positive, they felt it was really important, lots of women approached me after the meeting wanting to join, even if they're not here in the ITU, their countries don't have the money to send them to the ITU, how we can support them maybe with a virtual um, support, virtual meetings, we use Skype, that sort of thing. And in CTEL, in the Americas, we also have a mentoring program going on that is mirrored on the Network of Women program. It was in, uh, instated by the chairman of the group in CTEL, and it is about supporting those countries who have started to participate, the delegates who have started to participate, and don't have a, a bigger delegation to support them. So we have two um, running programs going on in developing countries, and I find them very positive exactly because they would like to participate more, but the financial situation sometimes doesn't let them do so.